As usual, spring came a few weeks later than it did in my mind. I spent a lot of time watching the spring flood clear up in the creeks at home. It's a beautiful time. Everything lies ahead. The darkness of winter is replaced by almost endless days. And the dream scenarios that I've pictured in my mind during the winter are still intact. The first little crack came with the stoneflies. I know you're supposed to, but I never find any trout rising to them. Then, when the mayflies started to pop up, I remembered how hard it is to actually find rising trout in these creeks. I found nothing in May. I knew there was trout down in the deep pools and downstream closer to the coast. My friends were catching salmon and big sea run trout. So you may ask yourself why I sat in the forest waiting for some tiny trout to break the surface. I'm going to try to answer that question with a little help from my friend Peter Christensen. I rarely know his whereabouts. It always seemed to be one of the more wild places on earth where the Wi-Fi is bad and the fish are big. But his intellectual mind had finally been chained by the university. In May 2019 he was studying in England, writing a thesis on the origin and development of fly fishing, sort of. Peter was at the birthplace of fly fishing, so I had to go and visit him. I was a little nervous, the Englishman would probably laugh at my baseball cap and modern carbon rod. I didn't want to make a fool out of myself. I needed a classic bamboo rod. So I was very happy when I stumbled upon the split cane rod builder. Good. I told him about my upcoming pilgrimage back to the roots. He understood me. Apparently he was also on his way back to the roots. In the Ethiopia, the Ethiopia. Och det är det alla rastafari vill göra. De vill return back to the homeland. Men uh, du har nog Umeå istället. Hahaha, <laughs> precis. En, en split cane. Kom inte till <laughs> Promised Land. Det är en jävla syd. Fast det här är ju Promised Land. Va? Är inte Etiopia som vi pratar om? Driver ut sista fukten. Så det här är som julafton, det är som att man öppnar upp sin julklapp. Du ser ett toppet stanna som är. Like the Rastafarians have Ethiopia and Muslims have Mecca. Dry fly fishers have river test in England. And uh, then we can park the car down by the river somewhere when you can find the parking spot in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. England, dry fly country. Yeah, yeah. So this is a tweet that I uh, picked myself. If you are a nobleman, you get to design your own. And uh, this is my design. And I think it's the best design of tweet. At home, I can fish pretty much everywhere for the price of a burger. But here, you can't even walk along the river without paying. Unless you know the right people. They had made a proper job infiltrating the English aristocracy. Peter and his friend, the historian, Jack F. Hogan. Jack and Peter blended into the English countryside like they were made of old money. And somehow, they had even gotten the permission to fish one of the most exclusive beats of the test during the dawn catch. Walking in the footsteps of the great English gentlemen who used to come to the chalk streams for sport and recreation and fish the upstream dry flies, the brown trout. No! 
Bloody hell, get that. Bad luck, sir. Bad luck. Come on, Jeeves. Get that flyer out of there. There we are, sir. Bloody hell. Through to one and she's well all done. yours, well sir. Done. There we go. Well done. Ephemera, darling. No, that's not your average mayfly. It's a majestic insect that lures even the biggest trout to the surface. And you'll find it on the chalk streams, mainly in May. Yeah, it is in fact the very bug that's given its more than 3,000 relatives their name. Mayflies. Mm, this is where fly fishing began pretty much. The dry fly style, Frederick M. Halford in the 1870s got down from London to fish for trout with beautifully artificial dry flies. That was big! <laughs> this was his fishing cabin, Frederick M. Halford. They call him the father of dry fly fishing. He invented the game and wrote the Bible. Floating flies and how to dress them. To practice the field sport of dry fly fishing, you simply stroll on a freshly cut lawn until you spot a trout in the water. Then you try to fool the wild beast into eating your artificial mayfly. Here he comes. Yeah, he's under it. Oh! <laughs> Perhaps it makes more sense to practice dry fly fishing in the gin clear shore streams of southern England than in the dark forest creeks of Vesterbottom. There was no problem to find trout in the test. But it's up there, by yeah, the, but that under green the tree. Patch, there's yeah. that green, light Yo, green patch yeah. of vegetation. Yeah, there's that little gravel in the middle yeah. of the vegetation yeah. and then there's a little bit of stream when I last saw it, but it's a fun fish to cast at. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, well done. Perfect. Applause, applause, applause. Woof. <laughs> Good trout, woof. Oh, uh, bring him hither, bring him. Well done. And on a dry fly. Upstream, I think you'll find there, boy. Oh, upstream. Well played. Oh, he's a good three pounds. Oh, he's gamesome, isn't he? Can appreciate a well tied fly. The thing is, we could just rest it and then we'll walk back down if we have to. We'll probably get another go as well. It's ridiculous, isn't it? He's just here all day, just like. Pop, 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 pop. There was big trout everywhere. Yeah! Peter, Peter, Peter. What? Visiting the birthplace of fly fishing was a bit of a shock for me. The whole river was shaped to fit some outdated idea of a fly fishing paradise. It's a rainbow. Yeah, it's one of the native rainbows, sir. <laughs> you have to give the old fly fishing lords that they had put a lot of work into creating the world that they wanted. They had even exported this idea of a fishery to every corner of the one so vast kingdom. But I wanted something else. I wanted to catch wild fish in wild rivers. And I realized I didn't do much to create the world that I wanted. But in the very heartland of the old fly fishing traditions, there was a subculture working with rewilding, 
a little hidden chalk stream not far away. Do uh, the spices want to make decisions about how to logistically handle things? But obviously, yeah, I'll coffee obviously. first, and then I make, I clean up over there, make sandwiches, and everybody looks for the forceps, so we don't hurt the wild geese um, too much. Morning, Rolf. Hmm. And there, and there's the river. <laughs> That's right, the same bit. It. Yeah. It it's doesn't look like anybody ever fishes here, man. It's, it's well, it was another kind of choke stream. The trout in the river weren't there for the single purpose of being caught on a fly rod. And there was no river keeper to cut the lawn. In order to move easier along the river, we decided to leave our rods behind, except from Jack's split cane rod. The trout here was smaller, and fly fishing was way harder. To be honest, we had no chance. Can you give me the hand? No. Pull you up? If I move it, I'm in okay. Three, two, yeah. one, go. Oh. You're right. Breathe. It's right. It's like this. You're fucking stung now. What, what you? do you call these? Stinging nettles. Yeah. In Sweden, they're like this high. Yeah. I still hadn't caught an English trout in a split game rod. And I was going back home in the morning. Now I had to put all my hopes in the hour before the sun goes down. But it is typically the best hour. But I want to wait for the rice, right? I wait for the rice, that's what Helford says. You can't not wait for the rice, Ralph. I can't just... Oh, there it is! All right, guys. Oh! Yeah! yeah. Woo. No! Yeah, this is what you want for your Mayflies to land in, right? Peter's law number three. Where the big dead tree is, that's where the big trout is. Okay, in the big lift. This, this big left pocket here. Yeah, like not one right in front of us, but the really big one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah Where yeah. it goes like from the right and then yeah, boom. Yeah, yeah. So up in the top of that. That's a really nice right. There yeah. again. Look, look. I'm a little stuck, but I plan to like do this. What happened now? No, I, I, oh, Rob, we can't have this. I, I destroyed the jet. I'm like. Mind the cane, bro. I mind it. I didn't mind the cane. Mind I the forgot cane. to mind. I forgot to mind the cane, and now Jack is like uh, very angry. No, I'm not very angry, mate. I'm just just more disappointed that's even more painful that he's just uh, i disappointed yet can we do something yeah we could take a fishing line and wrap it yeah i think not 
Yeah, I think so. We fix it and we, we that's what the England do, you know, stiff upper lip, like, you know. Yeah, quite right. The, the Victorian can-do spirit is what we need now, Jack. But it's also, you know. We can't it's, have, it's, it's we also, can't like let ourselves be defeated like millennials. No, 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 we shouldn't at all, but it's a complete. What would Nelson do? It's what would Nelson do? It's the contemplative man's recreation, right? So we should just contemplate. I think also then getting into a rush. No, we're not it's, rushing. It's not gonna, it's we're not we're, to, we're uh, repairing. Peter and Jack gave some kind of first aid to the split game rod. But the day was coming to an end. <laughs> oh, it's... Oh, there it was again. It was like the river felt sorry for me. Like it wanted to give me one last chance that was a little bit easier. Okay, but why am I not standing down there and fishing upstream? <laughs> I don't know, Robbie. <laughs> Mind the cane, Robbie. Mind the cane, mate. Oh, look at this. Look at the leader. Uh. It's a big fish. It's a really nice fish. It's a really big fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a rainbow. No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect it. Oh wow, look at the colors. Wow. <sighs> it was the perfect way to end it. A proper handshake. Yeah, it w was a beautiful handshake. I should have ended it there. But I went for the hug. wasn't a very beautiful hug. I think it was because of Jack's size and my short arms. Anyway, the blackbird was singing as I left Peter and Jack that warm evening in May. And I still didn't quite know who Jack was. Perhaps I should have stayed a few more days, but the summer had arrived to the creeks in my backyard, and I didn't want to miss out on that. Vestibotten, June. Just like last year, I would bring my son fishing. We were gonna watch mayflies, look for trout and bond all summer. Vill du kolla kameran? Kolla! Finns det ingen? Vi åker hem. Okej. Okay. Vi åker hem. I was a bit sad to realize he had developed a will of his own. And perhaps he wasn't a fly fisher. At least not this year. And perhaps I wasn't a very good father. At least not in June.
Whenever I had an hour, I ran into the forest to see what was happening in the creeks. And in June, the fish feed from the surface. Pretty much all of the creeks I found trout. I might look like a white privileged man with an easy life. But it's really complicated in June. There's so much happening. Bogata is hatching in the lakes and the forest creeks are at their very best. And at the same time, family holidays weddings and all sorts of get-togethers that very well could be held in November or December. You walk around with a constant fear of missing out. I want to spend every second with my girlfriend and my son. But I also want to spend every second in a cloud of mosquitoes, watching the shadow of a drought. I try to locate all family activities by some water so I have a chance if the stillness occurs. Me and my family suffers. Just because half of one's room. Floating flies and how to dress them. My shrink and friend, Howard Stube is a little older and a little wiser than me. He knows all of the dilemmas of being a father and a fly fisher. Man har ju familj och man har ju för att vara helt ärlig lust att vara tillsammans med dem också. Inte bara dra upp slimklumpar av myggenfiserade håll på norrkalaten. Så om det är egentligen helst det man har vill göra. He once told me to plan the summer and separate family and fishing. When with your family, be with your family. But perhaps more importantly, make proper fishing trips. Då skjuter vi upp det och så ser vi om det, ja. om det ändrar sig. Alltså, den mäller kallare och mer regn. Jag pratade om min fru och är så jävla trött på hur min final läggs. Det är ju så dålig värld då. Vad ska vi göra? Se på den här Jag är så trött på det Jag koll, när jag kollade i morse stod det 7 grader känns som 2. <laughs> At one point we just had to go. It didn't look very promising but we told ourselves the forecast could be wrong. 
When you cross the Arctic Circle, past the mining towns of northern Sweden and are closing in on latitude 70 north, then you're a long way from the noble chalk streams of England, where the trout is a pet, fed up to be caught and then released back into the river, ruled by fly fishers. Up here, trout is just meat. And fly fishing is just a useless way to bring the meat home. Hey, nice selection. märkligt men liksom nästan mer än det som man drömmer om på vintern och så nästan mer än själva det här snälla skrik och vaka med öret där och sånt så är det akkurat det här massa mygg och mitt på natta och den lyden där och blommig på hamnen en lunken lapp min kulta på Finland stundra. Ja, fantastisk. Att man skulle få uppleva det egna till. Ah, helt fantastiskt. Storheten i flugfiska det, det är att man har en riktning. Ja. Och sen är det egentligen det andra som är det. <laughs> Men an, utan flugfiska har man ingen riktning i livet. Nej. Nej, det är också så med det. We were playing our safe cards first. Finland. Parke by Kayoka. The morning was cold and windy. First walk along the river is perhaps the most exciting part of a fishing trip. But it's a little bit less exciting if you revisit the river you've seen before. Then you just walk to the places where you caught the big trouts. Here we go. A place where I picked the store in fjord. And it's almost impossible to succeed because you don't just have to find rising trout. You expect them to be as big as last time. Det känns liksom som elva kanske är lite för höj och lite för kall. We found no trout. We played out every safe card and decided to change river. I started to realize how much the catch itself really meant for me. And perhaps it meant even more for Howard. He repeatedly went back to the river as I was preparing to leave. I saw sat here and rid up circle. We should go start. So see I bara that the bar comes up and so here. Sån svans. Men så fick jag ett helt kast och då bara kom han upp så rolig. Jag väntade. Gick ned. Så då är det upp där. Ja! Ja, det är en liten kuk och så. Jag trodde verkligen att det var satt jävligt gott. Hon bara ramlade. Nej! Nej!
The second stop of our trip was perhaps the most famous river in northern Finland. Sikajoki. People from all of Finland come here because of the incredibly big sika. I think it's called whitefish in English. Some kind of whitefish. I'm more the stop. Jag kan acceptera att elva inåt inte har så mycket att göra och elva nedåt inte har så mycket att göra men det här här måste vara det. Vitis och och hans fet är det villigt och gul den hetta genen. Sika is rising to mayflies and it's quite beautiful, but we didn't care much about it, mainly because it isn't mentioned in floating flies and how to dress them. I think it's so spännande att fiska efter den. Men jag liker hur den uppför sig, alltså att den 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 förtränger inte öret. Det som är problemet när du får harr i älv, det är att det ödelägger älva. För att då går det bara om att fiska efter öret med strimer efterpå. För vad man än gör med törrflue så får man bara harr. Det är som att öret också blir ödelagt av harren. Men öret och siken, de koser sig liksom i lag. De har funnit sig sina projekt. Finland have never been very influenced by English culture. A sika is a much greater trophy than a trout. Ah, no more fin. Kilo sik. We were told there was no trout in the river, but Hovard seriously doubted that. If there was any trout then nobody would notice them. They would just be treated like a whitefish. We started walking upstream, inspecting the rises. The tail would reveal a trout. Det där är icke sick. Så du den. Så du den. Så du fisken? Nej. Du måste kolla, den är den vaker så vackert. Där. Det är kanske är en öring då. Men det ser kanske ut som att den tar de där som sitter lite djupare på något sätt. Alltså jag vet ju vad jag hade tagit. Alla. Ja men det är ju ingen snack. Nej. Ikke svart klink her på gule dørkluer. Det er fuld fiske. Det var definitivt en trout, men Håvard hadde lost sin chance. He was quickly reminded of what river we were fishing. Det här snakar vi personlig rekord på sig. Det här är en grov sig. Är det kallen gilla? Ja, det det närmar sig kallen gilla. So there was drought in Sikajoki. But the wind was picking up. Eager to see the next pool we went upstream. We didn't expect it to be the best pool in the world. But it was. Snabb sammanfattning av vad var det som hände egentligen? Ja, vi kom upp till poolen här. Och så så jag, när jag såg nedanför så tänkte jag Nej, det kan inte vara möjligt. Jag såg det så snabbt. Så tenkte jeg, nei, det er strømmen, det er ikke mulig. Så mye kan det ikke være, det er ikke mulig. Så visste det seg at det var fullt mulig. Der står det en fyr. Ja, det er to fisker. Ja, det er fyr. Og så er det som om det står noen ting her også, eller? Jeg 
klockan är ett på dagen och i väderprognosen kommer det klockan ett storm. Ja. Och vi må, därför måste det gå snabbt. Ja. Vi kan ta... Ja. Är det en decimeter för kort? Ja. Oj, där var den stora. Ja. Jag tar. Ja. Där. Ja, ja. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Den är inte så liten då. Vad fan? Vad fan? Det var den lilla, var det inte det? Här, åh, den som var till höger precis när den här tog. Ja. Den var större. Ja. Och den här är väldigt stor. <laughs> ja. Det här är allt jag vill ha. Men jag har inte landat den här. Du har den inte än. Nej, jag vet. Jinx master. <laughs> Jävla perfekt. Jag fick filma vaket också av den. Det är viktigt för mig. Jag fick filma ett vaket innan och sen många den. Nu tar du en annan. Då. Aj. Så är det nog av det sjukaste törflutfiskar har varit med på mig. Jag var helt ärlig. Du bara lägger ut sådana 8 meters spejkast och så. Det är väldigt fint. Det är väldigt fint. Är du med? Ja. Där. Jävla! Den är stor. Vad satan då? Det är den här poolen. Det står typ 40 stora verkar. Det är ju helt fullständig banan. Det här är färdigt att bli några av det värsta jag har hört med på. Ja, ja. Ah. Vad händer? Va? Helt fantastisk. Helt jävla fantastisk var det. I was a way more relaxed person the rest of the year. And we didn't let the rain bring us down. We found refuge in a cabin on the Norwegian border. We shared the cabin with what I suppose was friends of Hovart. They all had the same caps. Cabin life with fly fishers is a difficult game. You're there to get drunk and tell fishing stories, but you don't want to lose your secret spots. If you're lucky or experienced, you might be able to get some information about their secret rivers. I nervously took a glass of wine and looked around in the room. There was Stefan. He seemed kind and very intelligent. Arne, he knew a lot of fishing spots, but he was a murderer. Then there was Vegard. I would later understand that he wore the trucker cap just to gain my trust. He spoiled me with food and wine asked me a lot of questions and then I don't remember anything. Howard is skilled. Doesn't matter how much he drinks, he 
He picks any random lake on the map and then he tells the same old story. The Tale of the Yellow King. The Yellow King, det är alltså en öring som jag har sett här flera år. Jag har sett den över flera år. Andra har också sett den. Den er enorm öret som under helt speciella förhåll kommer ned och stiller sig på en väldigt speciell plats här. På en slags kongeplats där. Sola är akkurat bak The Yellow King. Så att du ser den, du ser Sola spilla med farga i den här gigantiska stjärtfilen som kommer upp. Så går det som två sekunder. Nej, fem sekunder så kommer den. What he never told was that Yellow Kingdom was just a few hours away from the cabin. When the weather started to get better, I realized I had talked way too much with Weigard. Suddenly, we were alone in the cabin, and they were off to Finland to fish a certain pool in Sikajok. Hovard had gone through Arne's phone and seen some interesting photos from a lake in northern Sweden. But all I got was a hangover. Also, concentration is like a gullfisk. forecast promised a calm and warm evening. It was perhaps our only chance this year to catch the Yellow King. A few hours of walking and then wait for the evening, for the midnight sun to find its position. Hvorfor har du opptrykt ismo-smeller? Ja, det går noe slags... Jeg vet ikke hva det er, om det er sik eller ødret eller hva det er, hva som helst. Men det er ganske strømt der nede, så jeg heller nok måtte opp til en ødret. Og så er det sånn her... Så det bruker å være ismo. Ismo tar. Det är alltså första kastet. Känner du inte att det, det nästan blir lite vulgärt? Jo, faktiskt. Ja, flott. Hovart var downstream playing with his favorite fly när jag noticed a rise on the neck. would turn out to be the biggest trout I caught that year. It's strange how much the context matters. I was there for the Yellow King, so I barely noticed the trophy trout in my hands. It was, after all, nothing compared to the King. All we needed was a calm surface and a few mayfly spinners. Like many times before, the greatest evil of all, the wind, extinguished my hopes. It was a good day. The evening was not so good. A bit cold. But that's all right. It will be good in the morning. Hovart wouldn't give up, though. What say you? Should I should I go up? The boy is chanting, "More sixty and fifty." How many in the lag? Yeah, the lag is there all the time. It gets more and more and more. 
Här börjar kännet som tårta. Och kolla. Här är det. Det ger dock ingen plats. Rätt ut det. Det är fint alltså. Det är jävligt fint. Där ser det ut. Oj, 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 det är fint. Men det kommer inte hända. Men se, se där ute. Se den, Yellow King. Se på den där. Kan det inte sluta att blåsa? Please. Jag har blåst några i två uke. I think it was three o'clock in the morning when Hovard finally realized that he wouldn't meet the king this year. And at that time I wasn't even sure the Yellow King existed. The problem is that it is Alltså när vi gick och la oss, när vi gick in i tälten så var det fyra grader. Mm. Och nu är det väl snart frost antar jag. Ja, du har froströk och har mm. Alltså det är runt nu. Uh, så det, det är bara varmt när sola står på. Och när sola står på så är det kanonhör vind. Det är fortsatt norra vind, rätt och slett. Det är norra drag. Det ligger på det här extrema höjtryck över Europa som drar ner polarluft hela tiden. Och vi är ju väldigt långt norr för Polarsik, så det är också rart att det blir kallt. Ta oss lite på skyggen där. Vi kastar väldigt skygga ut. Well, it was a difficult year. But there is always a hatch somewhere. And Hovard, he is a mini. He always finds that one fish that is rising at the moment. Three meters. Then there come the two baitfish. Oh, yes. But they don't take baitfish. So many. But they come also out of the water. The sixth one is here. So they take. But I don't know if it's the same fish. If it's the same fish, then they take. Om det är en liknande som, som står där och sen och så är den här stor. Det här är inga av det. Det här vet jag att det är minst en fisk. Men det var, det var kokot den enklaste platsen att få ett kast. Okej, det är så väldigt lite. Den är inte väldigt liten. Den är inte väldigt liten. Vänta. Den är så fin. Den är så fin. Den är så fin. Det här är en skicklig pokal. Ja. Det här är vad det är. Va? Nu blev man glad. Vad en drömmefisk. Och så på den drömmemåten. Den steinalder maten. Det var fantastiskt. Allt, liksom hela bildöppen är så... Ja, det är så perfekt. Men jag skulle säga att det är mer... Situationen är viktigare än storlek. Oh ja, oh ja. Well, it's true. But it's also bullshit. After all, when you're dead... You just want to hang on a wall with a big trout in your hands. 
All that matters is if the trout is big. Behind all the romantic bullshit, Howard and I knew we had to catch a proper trophy. Den är helt fantastisk. Ja. Ser du det? Den är ganska långt också. Ganska vacker där. We went to every spot that potentially could offer us a real trophy trout. Got some nice trout, but no real trophies. We were running out of time when Hoard finally remembered the photos he had stolen from Arne's phone. The trout was a real trophy. At first we saw no leads to where the photo could have been taken. But then Hoard saw something in the reflection. Arne had made a simple mistake. Grandis Träsket, a wildlife preserve in northern Sweden. Uh -huh. Här är en stor öre. In i vika där. We had blindly been looking for mayfly hatches. Vad juicy. Of course the great caddis would attract bigger fish. Jutfull. Howard quickly found a fish on the far side of the lake. Och det här var nog en jävligt stor öret alltså. Ah. Ja, det är väldigt dött här. Men nu är det också som jag missar allt. Jag missar mojoen, alltså säljtilliten kan man väl kalla det. Då ger den max pain. Så den blir helt panisk med en gång. Rotextrakt från kenianska. Kämpepräst och krav. Först är det att de blir paralyserade och så börjar de se att de börjar att gni benen mot varandra för att kvitta sig med det här nervegasen. Och så och så kommer de där ur kontrollerade ryckningen som är en slags höjdpunkt. Och så dör det. We would spend the last day together with an increasing number of grandis. To be honest, I don't really have an idea what they're doing on the surface. It's not like they're mentioned in floating flies and how to dress them. But they are big and they attract big fish. <coughs> Till trots för de här enorma mängderna med liksom de största vårflugorna som, som finns så är de inte stödda. Det är bara som random walk och det som gör det blir väldigt svårt med random walk för man vet inte hur fisken är. Man måste vara ganska rask 
Och så rätt efter att de har varit uppe så måste man försöka få flyga en eller annan plats i närheten. Så får man bara vara gamla, kasta till vänster eller höger, inte sant? Så bara ta en chans. Och satan! Så bara får upp den på rullen. Det är en dörr för pokal. Av dig. Helt. Hopp, hopp du över oss. Kan jag inte få låta gå över den här fisken? Allt är bär. Jag ska uppföra mig. Jag ska vara så snäll. Jag ska inte plaga dyr. Jag ska sluta bruka myggspiral. Var så snäll. Inte myggspiralen över. Nej, låt du vara snäll. Ja! Ja för satan! Ja! Kul då. Jag vet inte. Det är väl det låter så platt du sett men det är väl liksom det att vara vara ute på tur som är grej liksom. Håller på att fiska och hela den här grejen där. Mer än akkurat det. Man blir väldigt lycklig om man får en väldigt stor fisk. Uh, som idag, men... Det går ju över, liksom. Den lyckefölelsen. Den går ju i stund, och så... Så går den över. Uh, det är ju ingenting som är varig lycka, men... Men... Det är som att vara ute, det är som... Flotta och det där. Örret mycket. Kanske få en fin. Det är väl... Det är väl väldigt bra då. Lycka. Så var det min bedre än det. should probably mention I've never read floating flies and how to dress them Det kan inte bli ofta. Ja, men jag tar det. Det är en av. 